to get to the point of you know Kim Kardashian and Megan Thee Stallion and <laughs> Kanye West tweeting about anime like you gotta go through like a lot of like low brow yeah. weirder cultural stuff like Waka Flocka being like suck my dragon balls bitch call me Goku <laughs> <laughs> From Toonami classics like Naruto and Dragon Ball Z to the films of Makoto Shinkai and Studio Ghibli, food has always been a massively important part of the anime viewing experience. Sushi, ramen, omurice, takoyaki, somehow these incredibly delicious meals are made to look even more appealing when scarfed down by our favorite characters. When you watch anime, do you watch in, uh, in English, English or Japanese? Yes! Japanese. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. But today, I'm going back to the source material. I'm heading to Japanese bookstore Kinokuniya for a manga shopping spree with rapper and comic book obsessive Denzel Curry. I wanted to hear more about Denzel's favorite titles and better understand hip hop's deep appreciation for Japanese animation. Denzel, it's pretty clear after just even meeting you for two minutes that you love anime. Oh, uh, I'm super into it. Yeah. What would you say you're most into right now? What are you watching um, right now? One Punch Man, definitely. Very nice. And you can tell from your music that anime and manga play a really huge inspirational role, I'd say. How did you first get into it? Like, how did it start mixing with well, your music? let's take it back to I was a little jitterbug Excellent. with me and my brother in the room. <laughs> And basically, at three o'clock, get out of school. We'll go straight to watching Toonami. No homework, nothing. Yes. We'll just keep watching it. That's when it was playing all the oldie mm -hmm. goldies. Like, I'm talking about like big old. It was playing Zoids. It was playing Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. It was playing Dragon Ball. And then I remember I got into um, Yu Yu Hakusho, but, but, it was on Adult Swim first, and exactly. that was like the first time I ever seen cartoons cursing. Right, Yeah, right. seriously. And then when they put it on Tsunami, I was like, ah, oh, yes. I see them! Man, I was hooked <laughs> from there. So my love for anime started to grow and grow and grow. As long as they doing martial arts in that bitch, I, oh. I was fucking with it. So have you ever noticed how Goku and basically anybody that trains, how they eat food? They in eat a lot of manga. rice, <laughs> a lot do, of rice, yeah. a lot of ramen. You see a lot of beef in there too. A lot, yeah, and a lot of like turkey leg, like chicken leg. I feel like food in manga and anime is drawn and depicted so well. It always makes me really hungry. And I yeah. also love that there's this kind of sequence of everybody just shoving food in their mouth. Like I'm training, so therefore I need to consume yeah, yeah, you all, need this all this food. Energy. Yeah. yeah, but that's the point. Like, yeah. Yeah. I remember when I was on working out like every day, I would just eat. Yeah. I would just eat. <laughs> and add that fervor, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and he's like, okay, I'm ready to go on stage. <laughs> go on stage, get off, eat again, go to sleep. Why do you think hip hop and rap culture references One Punch Man, Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, anime stuff all the time? A lot of people reference that because, you know, there's a lot of bars you could put into it, but mm -hmm. this is like what we came up on, you know? You see how the RZA, the Jizza, everybody in Wu-Tang Clan came up on a Wu-Tang collection. Cowboy Bebop, Samurai nice. Shampoo, Dragon Ball Z. This is our Wu-Tang collection, oh, yeah. you know? It's just what we grew up on, and we want to be powerful, or be good at something, or be the best in whatever we want to do. So that's why I feel like we resonate with anime a lot because yeah. there's a lot of character development, and it helps us with our development as a child. You know? Definitely. We talked about my favorite animes, so I want to talk about your favorite animes. Oh, thank you so much. Um, I would say a lot of my stuff changes depending on the season. I kind of want to keep a variety, mm -hmm. but very into food anime oh, lately. Yeah. A lot of food in manga and anime looks so good. It, it is. looks delicious. And very appetizing. Yeah, and I feel like they do a really good job depicting everyday Japanese food. Have you heard of Food Wars? No, I have not. Really? Okay, so it's a surprise. It's actually really interesting because Shokubeki kind of takes the angle of that uh, hero journey, mm -hmm. but with food. So this kid goes to like a culinary school and it's like life or death oh. with cooking. So it follows that kind of DBZ mentality where there's always a stronger, better... Chef. Yeah. How many chefs are better than him though? A lot. He's at the very bottom. Oh, man. That's what I mean. I feel like this is like totally this, up your alley. This is like give you anxiety. Why, yeah. why, why is he 
he at the bottom? He's not. He sucks. As a no, child? he's just young and he's new, and they're in an elite culinary school, and he's like a street rat. Well, man, I'm I'm like this. I like this a lot. <gasps> I'm so excited. Please give it a try. Another food manga and anime that's really popular mm -hmm. that showcases really good Japanese food is Sweetness and Lightning, and it's about a single father who tries to figure out how to raise his daughter, be suddenly having to be the one that cooks and takes care of the house. It's Incredible because they also give you little recipes in the middle of the manga showing you how the dad figured out how to kind of create this dish and recreate it for his daughter. It's really sweet. So yeah, this oh, is like man. the complete opposite side of Shokugeki Food Wars. For you stay at home dads, <laughs> I recommend this. All right, now that we've kind of established our anime knowledge a little bit, and I know you're an artist as well, let's go draw some anime. You don't want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> let's go meet my friend Masako. Okay, let's go. Reading about food and manga is one thing, but knowing how to draw it is another. Misako Rocks is the best-selling author and illustrator behind manga titles like Bounce Back and Biker Girl. Denzel has been hard at work on his own comic book for months, but we're meeting up with Misako so I can finally learn how to draw like a true manga master. So pretty much, we're going to draw more like a girl's character, manga character with a shiny hair. Oh, yes. Like, omuraisu. Yeah, kawaii. Right? Yes, yeah. kawaii one. And I really like to see how you're going to draw your awesome male character. So <laughs> let's do this thing. So the first, yeah, I'm like, going to draw like circle, mm -hmm. cross lines, but then the side lines are a little lower. lower. Okay. Yes, because it's a manga character and a female. So you want to draw really big eyes. Mm -hmm. That's the key. So that's why you want to draw a little yeah, lower. Yeah, that's gotcha. good. Okay. And then neckline. Oh, on the same time. Oh my god. Wow, so much faster. <laughs> <laughs> that's super fast. Okay, we're gonna try to catch up. I know you're working on your own manga right now, producing and illustrating and writing and doing everything with it. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Basically, the manga that I'm working on right now is called Black Metal Terrors. And I'm drawing basically the main character of yeah. it right now. The dude's name is Octavius. Octavius Jones Jr., but you just call him OJ. His character is somebody who's trying to stop robots from like just taking over the whole planet and shit because it's like a post-apocalyptic future mm -hmm. that they're in right now. You know, me being a fan of anime and just like coming up with stories my whole life okay. and the way I do my albums, I wanted to be like a story that people are gonna be like uh, get excited over. I, I'm loving the muscles. Oh uh, yeah, he's <laughs> sexy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we move it on. Yes. So C is like, you know, like, mm, I'm getting ready, ready to go. go. Yeah. yeah, itadakimasu, that kind of a, you know. Yeah, thing. exactly. So we're gonna put Very like, excited smile, mouth. Okay. and maybe we can just put like a tongue out. Are there any anime or manga that kind of stick out to you in regards to how well they animate mm. and depict food? Mm. I personally like like Ghibli and like yeah, Makoto Shinkai. Same, yeah. It always looks so same, good. Same <laughs> as you. Yeah. Yeah, Ghibli, I mean, they, they're like whatever they just make, it, especially like a bread. Yes. Even like a sound. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the way just they break like, it apart. Yeah. yeah. And the <laughs> butter, how yeah. the butter melts. Oh. <laughs> and a pancake, you know, uh, kick its delivery service. Yes. So definitely. Definitely, yeah, Ghibli. They yeah. make the best. Y'all making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna try to do our best yes. to make this omelette look super yummy. I want it to be that yes. level. All right. So now usually the cute kawaii one omelette is we're gonna put, you know, they put the ketchup, um, yeah, drawing. ketchup, yeah, ketchup yeah. drawing. <laughs> So maybe we can just draw a cute cat face. Oh, yes, perfect. In the, ketchup, the cat ears. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that almost done. Do you want to add just a quickly, maybe speech bubble? Yes. Okay. Yes. And then let's say, oh, is she here? Oh yeah, yeah. That's right? perfect. Sound like oh shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like oh shit. It's so good. Yeah, oh, like, she. Oh, yeah, oh, <laughs> she. oh she. Here we go. Yeah. That is a yeah. Yeah. You got it. Yay. Now we know how to draw manga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> While Denzel finishes his drawing, Misako and I are ready for lunch at High Collar, where some iconic anime dishes have found their way onto the menu. We're meeting the hilarious comedian Zack Fox and the Grammy Award-winning musician Thundercat. Together, Zack and Thundercat are two of the biggest anime junkies I know and the perfect people to share a cartoon-themed feast with. Hi guys, 
thank you so much for joining me here today. Yeah. We're here at High Collar, which is my friend Sakura's restaurant, okay. where they serve some iconic dishes that you see popping up in anime all the time. Mm -hmm. And our first dish is omurice. Have you ever seen omurice in anime? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. They go I remember away. like like a lot of food in anime. I'd just be looking at it and be like, what, what the hell, hell is it? Right, right. Yeah, right. It's like stuff flying everywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just like a, and it looks yeah. so it looks so moist good and, and juicy. And yeah. 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 Like, yeah, I mean, I would watch anime and I had to go to Waffle House. <laughs> you know, it makes you hungry, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. So here at High Collar, they mix tomato-based fried rice with bacon, and then they top it Ooh. with an omelet egg, which is generally how it's done in Japan as well. It normally comes dressed in ketchup, yeah. and it's treated a lot like latte art is, where it's just kind of dependent on your chef or dependent on what kind of restaurant you're in. And we Head specifically asked for the ketchup bottle so we could make our own yes. omelet rice art. Perfect. Because I know you guys like to draw. Penis and the cat and the coochie. Exactly. Mm. Oh, this is fantastic. I'm glad you like mm. it. I literally always wish that it could just all be an anime all yeah. the time. Like, all the time. Like, I want to wander into a forest and then slip into another realm. Like, why can't that happen? Why not me? Yeah. <laughs> Growing up in Atlanta and like, being surrounded by just rap culture, but seeing like the influence yeah. constantly from. From anime. Oh, yeah. From yeah. Anime. I actually yeah. wanted it's to like, talk to you about like that. It's like flooded with that. Specifically, African American culture. Yeah. And a lot of the, the even pop culture in Japan. Mm -hmm. It's like there's a very big connecting thing that happens. My honest opinion about it is it has to do with relating in such a higher point. It's almost like it is inexplicable because it is the finer point of whatever that is. Interesting. You know, ever since yeah, I was yeah. a kid, there was like a definite like force bringing the two together, and you know, then there's Samurai Shampoo. And yeah, good yeah. God. Samurai Shampoo. Samurai Shampoo. Oh, oh, nice yeah. name. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. I could, I could oh, slap man. somebody. And like, I'm like, I'm, that, good God. It's only to like maybe yeah. last year I would say that like anime watching in hip hop and black culture became like you know a cool thing and, and like noted like to get to the point of you know Kim Kardashian and Kanye West and, and Megan Thee Stallion tweeting about anime like you got to go through like a lot of like low brow yeah. weirder cultural stuff like Waka Flocka being like suck my Dragon Ball bitch call me Goku. <laughs> And not to be all like, get off my porch, but like, <laughs> when I was in sixth grade, there's like trap music, and then there's like, My Chemical Romance, mm -hmm. and then there's, you know, there's Devil Man, and there's Adult Swim, and I'm watching yeah. All Ball Star, yeah. and Gundam Wang, and uh, listening to the Paramore and shit. All these, these right, things so my just like, high school, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all these things just like, trying to emulsify, but they're not quite yet there. Right, right. Yeah. And then 2016 happens, and it's like, every was widespread. And yeah. Uzi is like the perfect emulsification of like so black culture, yeah. popular He's American rock good. culture, yeah, and Japanese yeah. culture. He's it. I'm sorry, this is amazing. <laughs> yeah, I know you're enjoying it, but save some room because we got some pancakes know, like, yes. oh, coming okay. in. Yeah. 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 yeah, another iconic Japanese anime See, I'm, food. I'm eating out of survival mode right now. That's what... <laughs> Japanese style pancakes next. In Japanese, they actually call it hot cake. Hot cakes. They're like a cookie. You know, like they, yeah. They can make a you know hot cake and a Gigi rating for it. Yeah. Right. So cute. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna do the chocolate wow. shake. Itadakimasu. 
Wow. Mm -hmm. That's so good. The texture. Are there any hotcakes you saw in anime? Like, are there any iconic ones that you remember? I mean, I've always... I'm thinking like, like Hamtaro, I probably saw. Yeah. 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 Like the giant yeah. wobbly, like the yeah. 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 Like Shin Chan, like that whole... Shin Chan, yeah. Yeah. Shin Chan or, or Hamtaro, I definitely saw something like that. Yeah, that, that makes sense. It's kind of, it appeals to children, so that totally makes sense. Um, we were talking about how we saw it a lot in Ghibli movies. Because yes. they do food so well, and especially having like the syrup, it's almost like a device to make it look glisteny and beautiful. Yeah, yeah, and they yeah. really up the animation for that like moment. The attention they pay to the food to totally. anime now is like absurd. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's what's so great about anime. Like I know it's considered a cartoon, and yeah. obviously it is in Japan as well, but it's made not for children. It's made for literally all ages. Like mm -hmm. it's just entertainment and it doesn't matter that it's drawn. It doesn't necessarily mean it's made for any age range. So that's why you see the level of violence and then you see something that kind of appeals to like mothers who stay at home. And I feel like food is such a natural connector with people. It's like a great equalizer. Everybody enjoys food. Like you gotta, you gotta eat and you gotta enjoy it. So I feel that anime really learned to capitalize on being like, I know what you like. Like you yeah. gotta eat food. You gotta yeah. enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's good stuff. Up, man, that's just good, good animation. <laughs>